What's up and welcome to Beyond the Pavement, the show dedicated to exploring the beauty of outdoors and hopefully inspiring you to adventure out yourself. Today we're at Big Bear Lake in California and I'll put directions down below to this parking lot. It's on a Saturday, uh, I think it's August 20th today, and uh, or 21st, one of the two. Uh, it's a full parking lot, so if you want to get here, get here early. And here's my buddy Jesse. Hey what's Jesse, up? So Thank what's you up? The world. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh, here's the map. We are right here, we're gonna go up here. The trail is just up the parking lot, to the top of the parking lot, and then you just follow. And you can bring your pets. Bicycles. You can bring your bicycles. Just make sure your pets are on a leash. Make sure you got your water, get your snacks, stay hydrated, and uh, enjoy Big Bear Lake, California. Cougar Crest, two and a quarter miles up that way you can tell there's definitely an incline and there's going to be uh more incline for sure because the crest obviously means the very top of it so we're going to the top and we're going to check it out and then we're going to come down and we're going to get some good lunch yeah, yeah. all right other things you can do while you're here in big bear is check out Castle Rock. We did a trail that's it's uh, not very popular to get to Castle Rock. It's like a secret trail. So you should check that out on the link right there. But bam We also did some fishing and uh, did a little video for that. And you can check it out on the link right there. But bam Got some beautiful redwoods in here. Some pine trees and yeah, it's good stuff. All right, so this trail is covered by trees a little bit. Like right now, we're in the sun, it's hot. Make sure you wear your sunscreen if you need sunscreen. Okay, along the trail, they have these little trail markers. It says trail. Pretty, uh, pretty easy. Not, not, uh, not hard to miss that. The trail itself, you know, small rocks pretty flat for the most part not a big deal not too hard I mean we started breathing hard a little bit we are about 8,000 feet right now uh, big bears up there in the, <laughs> in the uh, altitude range that's why you get the nice cool evenings but yeah come on out here all right so we're still heading up this trail still you know not that bad of an incline we had a guy run by us uh, weight training he had a vest on with weights on it he was running up the, the hill um, and then Jesse uh, referenced that uh, there's a lot of boxing training and MMA training that goes on out here because of the altitude at this altitude there's less oxygen so therefore it gets your body used to doing a whole bunch of strenuous work with less oxygen so when you go and you're ready to perform and there's a abun more abundance of air you can perform even better is the idea they do get snowstorms up here in the winter it gets really cold and they do get uh, thunderstorms they get rock slides you get you'll find you got to be careful driving up here as well you'll have a rock sometimes fall off a hill it might hit your car so you know, be precautious. You know that uh, Mother Nature is always stronger. Mother Nature is always stronger. That's right, Jesse. I don't know if you can hear him up there, but that's what he said. All right, so we're traveling along. We're probably about halfway there. And you get to this cool little bench. But you can sit down and take a break. I feel like if I sit down, though, I won't get back up. So I'm just going to stay standing. How are you feeling, Jesse? It's got to keep moving. You don't stop one foot in front of the other and just keep going. Yeah, what do you think about this trail so far? It's nice. It's nice. I like the fact that the hills aren't as steep as the Castle Rock Trail. This one's like, it's a slow and steady incline. So you just, as long as you keep going, it's really not that bad. Still not too bad of an incline. And it's uh, shaded, you know. A little bit every now and then you hit some shade so it's not that bad just keep on trucking 
keep on making it happen. And as we're going up, we're making sure we notify hikers coming down that are about to pass the snake, that there's a snake down there. You know, especially if they got dogs or small children or stuff, you know, or just if they're people. <laughs> Nobody wants to get bit by a snake that I know of. So yeah, be courteous. And if you see something like that, make sure you tell your fellow hikers so they're aware and everybody's safe. Check out the view, all right. All right, so we're getting closer and closer to the top. The view's getting better. They have these benches where you can come up here and take a look at everything. So nice, but we still got more to go, so here we go. Stay hydrated. So now we're heading close to Bertha Peak. And you can see we're getting close to some kind of peak. The view is getting nicer and nicer. Woo! We have come to a fork in the road and we found this sign. It says Bertha Peak. Bam, right there. So we're gonna head up this way. We're gonna hit up that Bertha Peak and uh, we're gonna see what's going on up there. So here we go. But uh, we gotta take a little break right now. Find a shady spot, drink some water, have a little snack. Yeah, and then, and then head back up. All right, so this part, this Bertha Peak Trail, it's no joke. It's definitely got some incline to it. It's steep. It's steep. <laughs> this guy's breathing hard, sweating hard. It's a booty worker for sure. Take breaks, drink water. Sorry, what was that, what was that again? Take breaks and drink water. It's yeah. That's right, take Especially breaks. Especially fat a little bit. <laughs> yeah. But keep on going till you get to the top. Definitely doable. Ult ultimately. It says doable. Yep. I'm All 200 right. plus pounds and it's doable. All right. We made it to the top. You. What do you think about this trail, Jesse? I like it. It was definitely worth coming up here. Um, don't stop, just just keep putting one foot in front of the other and go for it. It's, it's definitely worth it. Like even this view right here, I haven't walked over there yet to see the top of the, the top top, but even just from right here, it's nice. There's multiple rocks you can sit on. There's a log over there that's carved out you can sit on. It's nice view, it's, just worth, it's worth the height. You get to see all the boats driving around, people tubing on the water and stuff. It's fun to get out. All right, so we got some, uh some rain clouds that look like they're coming in uh we'll have plenty of time to get down before they get here and they might not even rain it just looks that way uh but we're gonna go ahead and head down uh we've been up here just uh, hanging out drinking some water talking listening to some music and uh, just enjoying the scenery it's been very nice uh what do you think 10 out of 10 10 out of 10 come up here don't give up just keep going and it's well worth it in the end Going back down the uh, Bertha Peak Trail, and it's an uh, incline that's uh, pretty steep, so uh, you need to go back and forth sometimes, you know, to make it a little bit more manageable. Sometimes if you go just directly straight down, you'll catch too much momentum, you'll hit a loose rock, and then you'll fall and, you know, maybe hurt something. You don't want to do that. So a uh, better idea is just going back and forth, almost like you're doing a what it switchbacks, uh, like mini switchbacks, just makes it a little bit safer. This, uh, this very kind lady uh, that was passing us gave us that tidbit of information. We appreciate that. We appreciate the information, Miss. Thank you so much. We're passing it along. All right. So a good reminder is when you see this big tree at the fork in the road, that uh, you got to take that left to go back to where you came from. So just see that remember that all right and we made it back to the parking lot all right thank you so much for joining me on another episode of beyond the pavement this has been a cougar crest and the bertha peak trail at uh big bear lake california you got to come check out this view it's about eight miles round trip if you do all the Bertha Peak part and everything. And uh, yeah, totally worth it. 
and uh, make sure you bring your water, stay hydrated. Make sure you check us out on uh, TikTok at Beyond the Pavement and check us out on Instagram at Get Out There BTP. Uh, subscribe, hit that notification bell so you don't miss another adventure and uh, make sure you hydrate and until next time, take it easy and get out there beyond the pavement. And get, and get out, out there, there beyond, beyond the, the pavement! pavement. <laughs> 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 <laughs>